I'm out here actually sitting in the water um, at this beautiful bay called Namuka Bay that we're in. And I just wanted to do this video here because I thought it was so much prettier than just, you know, sitting at the villa. And I mean, that's beautiful, but I just thought this was kind of cool. So anyway, um, I, I've been here. Uh, so Namuka Bay is in Fiji and uh, we've been here for the last eight days, I think. And this is the last trip for Beach and Bag Lady this year for all the beaches that I've been cleaning on. So we've done Costa Rica. I've done two different islands in Tahiti, Tahiti Island and Moran, French Polynesia. Then I did Waikiki Beach, and then I also did here in Fiji. I did go to Australia, but I went inland, and I wasn't able to clean on any beaches there. And in fact, when I walked around the city, it was beautifully clean, which I was so happy to report. So I really didn't have any garbage there um, to show. But anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of do this video to talk a little bit about Fiji and what's been here. I would have done a Facebook Live, but there's literally no internet. Uh, I kind of had similar issues in, in uh, Tahiti. We had internet, but we weren't able to really upload any videos. Here, there's literally no internet. So you'll be watching this after I've gone back to the US. But anyway, as you can see behind me, the beach is beautiful. Um, it's very private. Um, I walk this beach for several hours a day. Uh, very, very long. It goes way down past that point you see behind me. Very clean, I want to report. Very, very clean. I have definitely taken some bags out. Probably, I'm going to say, I'll have to count up and tally, but I think at this point, I've removed uh, two and a half bags from this beach here in Fiji, which is phenomenal to me that that's all it was. Again, this beach is very clean. There are some things that blow in. I'm going to guess off of like jet skis and boat tours and things that people take, but there's really not a lot that comes in like off the currents. Like I have back home in Washington State, United States, and that's, I mean, that's good. Although I know that plastic's still out in the ocean. It's still good that it's not landing here. And the locals are very good about recycling and um, there's a pretty hefty bottle surcharge and plastic surcharge, so that's good. That, that promotes uh, recycling and reduce reuse. Um, something that is a little bit uh, alarming to me here is they still have plastic grocery bags, although they charge you for them, so I guess that's good, but the fact that they just have them, period, just is really, kind of concerning. Um, however, the local Fijians are extremely eco-conscious and they do a lot to reduce and reuse, I'm noticing. And here on this island, you know, they don't have a lot. So it's very much about reuse what you do have as many times as you can, which is really great for our resources on the planet. But I'm staying here at this resort, which has just been phenomenal. I don't know if you can see out behind me how beautiful this bay is just it's just gorgeous pristine I've been walking the beach every single day several miles at a time um, and it's just been beautiful and the resort is really supportive of me picking up garbage which by the way is interesting that not all places I was staying were supportive of me picking up garbage the house that I stayed in in Marea they were kind of pissy that I was picking up garbage because then they had to go dump it and they had to pay, you know, it was filling up their garbage can. They didn't like that. So I found that kind of interesting. And they don't do a lot of recycling on Marea, I noticed either. Now, they had a steep bottle surcharge, like 60 cents a bottle for like their beer bottles, but that was it. I didn't see a big, huge charge on the plastics and stuff. So anyway, I mean, it was all right. But so after, I don't know, three months, I guess it's been about um, almost three months that I've been traveling. I've had, uh, it's been really cool to go to the different beaches, to walk on it, to pick up garbage. 
every every beach I've been on, no matter what country, people have noticed what I'm doing, and they'll say thank you to me, and they'll say, oh, I pick up on the beach every time I go to, and in fact, one lady even got up off of her towel, because she was sunbathing, when I was walking in Tahiti, and she went and picked up two or three pieces of garbage and came and put it in my bag, gave it to me to take away, which I thought was really cool. So, you know, I guess, um, I am very uh, was very pleased with Costa Rica and how eco-friendly and conscious that they were. I, I want to say there's two big things I see very little of. One, I see very little plastic forks or spoons anywhere on any of these five countries that I've been to. Um, and I find that phenomenal because the United States, those are everywhere. And the other thing that I think in all of my travels in the last three months, five different countries, I have only picked up like seven plastic straws. That makes me so happy. So, so happy. So we're making a lot of progress and I want us to celebrate that. Now that being said, the one thing I have picked up on every single beach, I don't care what country I'm in, what beach, how clean, every single beach, I have picked up plastic water bottles. Guys, we have to stop using these. We have to stop it. It's insane. It's not necessary. There's got to be a better way. We got to figure it out. Now, on these islands, I get it. Like tourists, so we come to this island, we can't drink the local water here. Uh, at least they don't recommend it. So we need to have water that we can buy. Well, what do you buy it in? Plastic bottles. Well, instead of just plastic bottles, you can buy it in like a gallon jug and then use your reusable plastic water bottle. Um, that is one way that you can do it. In Tahiti, that was fabulous that we could do that. Buy one water bottle and reuse it the whole time you're there. So I don't know what the answer is entirely, guys. Uh, I'm just saying we got to figure it out. And in countries like the United States and on cruise ships and things like this, we don't need these plastic water bottles. We've got to stop the insanity and stop using them. It's still, in my opinion, the one really big thing that I see that is polluting our beaches and our oceans, and it's up to us to stop it. So help me with that. I want to thank you all so much. We're coming up on the end of the year. I know I'm going to do a couple beach cleans. I'm a home beach when I get back before Christmas time, and I'm excited about that. It's been a fabulous year, 2018, for Beach and Bag Lady. Um, the groups that have started, that have branched off of us, have been so cool to see and we now have like six different beach and bag lady groups in six different countries so I think that's pretty awesome very very cool so I want to thank you all so much for your support and your encouragement you guys really inspire me okay I mean I did this channel and I did this stuff because I wanted to inspire others to pick up plastic and take care of mother ocean and let's reduce the pollution that we're putting on our planet and our beautiful oceans and what happened in the process was I became inspired so thank you thank you so much for that all right well on that note I think I'm gonna go uh, finish my Fiji gold this is my new beer of the week let me tell you it's a yummy nummy uh, might have something to do with the salt water the warm <laughs> warm salt water it's about 83 degrees I'm sitting in right now uh, and the sunshine and this beach, but I'm still gonna go finish it and enjoy it and uh, I'll get this video all uploaded for you guys Please share with me any videos or pictures that you have of The beach and bag efforts that you've been doing whether it's in your community locally On a lake or a stream or on the beach. Let's continue to move forward. Let's make 2019 an incredible phenomenal year for clean beaches reducing plastic, and saving our mother ocean one bag at a time. See you later.